All right, welcome back to BSTV. Hi, guys. Who are you? I'm the B to the BS. Wow, and you're not even on screen. Like, I know. Move over. Come oh, on. I'm, sorry. I'm Steve, and this is BSTV. So it's Friday night, guys. Wow. Getting fresh. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to review The Bachelor. Not finale, right? No. Second last episode. Yes. But he narrowed it down to. Three. Three. They have the three yeah, fantasy so they're suites. On the overnight. Yes. Yep. And they're in Iceland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Uh, so he'll, he he chose Gabby, Rachel, and Susie. Yeah. Those are his top choices. And the producers, as they always do, they put the one who's having the hardest time with him dating a lot of people last. So Susie goes last, and the whole time she's freaking out, like, "Oh my God, how are his dates going with other people?" So right. let's go with uh, Rachel. How'd so, that go? So they're in Iceland. Seemed like they were, it was going really well. I felt like they had the entire time of this show. They went a in a really, volcano. A really good, excuse me, they had a really good connection. And so. <laughs> I'm just talking about their current date. Yes, but I'm just saying that they had a really good connection going throughout this entire show. Um, they go on a volcano, into a volcano. Chemistry is going. She tells him afterwards that he, uh, she's falling in love with him or that she's in love with him. And for some reason, Clayton is getting really bold and just screaming at the top of his lungs in Iceland that he is in love with Rachel. Yeah. So this after. is going to be a uh, pattern a on the show uh, where... Some people seem to think that the producers told Clayton because every single girl is like, I don't know where I stand with this guy. So some people seem to think the producers sat him down and were like, listen, buddy, every girl's going to say no to you if you don't start to show some emotion and tell them you like them. So he starts this whole, this is the first time the whole season, he starts telling every single girl, I love you or I'm falling in love with you and like yelling it at them. Yeah. Like- really awkwardly, kind of. Yeah, really. It wouldn't be awkward if he did it the whole season, like built up to it. Yeah. But it, like it's he leaves, he leaves Rachel in the morning, and he's like, "I love you." Yeah. And just, then he does the same thing with the next girl. Yeah, I just think it was just too much, and like, fine. Like, obviously, we know that reality TV is scripted often, and like a lot of it is scripted. I just feel that you know the producers need to give them a little bit more credit, and like saying if you know. Just do your own thing. Before they were allowed, they weren't able to say that they loved them until the final season, like the final um, episode. Yeah, because you can't, because it's an edit. You can't reveal who you're right. going to choose. Right. So one so thing I I'm think, also... I think they, they should have just kept it that way. I don't know why they had to change So one it. thing I'd also like to say is you said uh, Rachel and Clayton had good chemistry all season. I would say Clayton had no chemistry with anyone all season. Okay, well, maybe Rachel had good chemistry with her him because she like maybe she was- had the best, but like I would say Clayton is one of the least successful bachelors of all time in terms of connecting with any of the girls on the show. Well, clearly from the women tell all, he didn't seem very happy. It looks like it's going to be unsuccessful for him. Yeah. So let's continue to move on. Right. And so he has another date with, with Gabby. Yeah. And you don't like Gabby that much. I, I it's not like I don't like Gabby. I just think that she's. She's not your typical contestant you would have on these shows that lasts a long time. Usually, Gabby would be gone in week one. Yeah. She doesn't show that much of a personality, but then I feel like behind the scenes, she does when they show like a little bit at the end, like a few bloopers and stuff that they don't show during the episode. I think that she has, she could be very quirky and funny, and maybe that's what he sees, obviously, and we don't see that as the audience throughout the entire time. It looked like they had a really nice date. They went on... Um, on a ATV and then they did they went to a yurt and stay overnight and obviously he banged her and all the while Susie is getting um interviewed and saying that she doesn't know how she's gonna feel if he is uh sleeping with everybody or sleeping with the other contestants also every time one of the other girls returns they have this super awkward like so how'd your date go and then like girls are like 
yeah, good, but they don't want to say they oh, no, slept the, with and them. Then, and then Susie said to Gabby when she got back, oh, it looks like you have bed head. And she yeah, said, oh. yeah. Oh. But yeah, they just like were building up to this whole end, like the last scene. And we're going to get there. But they were building up with Susie. And I don't know. So now Susie and him go to Hot Springs yeah, on their to, day. Yeah, they went to the Hot Springs. It looked like they're having a good time, frolicking in the pool and whatnot. And then... They um, go to dinner. To dinner. And so he says that she, he is falling in love with her, but she basically gave him a blank stare. And No, she, he, I think he said, I am in love with you, didn't he? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, she gives him nothing. She doesn't reciprocate anything. And all she says is that, you know, I'm going to have a really hard time going through this. If you have been intimate with the other girls, because that's basically a deal breaker for me. If you do love me, you shouldn't have done that, basically. You should have. But, like, The Bachelor out. is about the fantasy suite. Like, it right. all leads up to the fantasy right. suite. And so, then, if you go to, like, Bachelor in Paradise and uh, okay, Bachelor in Paradise, like, what do they have there? What's it called? The Boom Boom Room? The boom boom so, it's the yeah. same thing. The whole so thing like, is about but that. But, you know, when you go on The Bachelor and you are one of the last contestants, throughout this entire process, you know that he has. Or the bachelor, bachelorette is has the ability of sleeping with any of the la, with the last the three option. people, right? They have that option. Chances are they're going to do that because they're exploring these relationships. Susie, love you. You're beautiful. However, you should know this, and you can't really say like, "Hey, if you love me that much, you shouldn't have done that." Because clearly, he would have because he is in on the bachelor. Maybe in a real life situation. He wouldn't have done that. However, he is a bachelor. Okay, so then they get into a massive yeah, argument yeah. about it. Like, she's questioning him, and you could just see, and I remember pausing it when we're watching it, and you could just see, like, the red, like, boiling up in his neck and face. Like, he's getting, like, angry. He doesn't know what... And the whole season, Clayton hasn't been good with his words. Like, any anytime anyone puts him on the spot and he needs to be a little quick-witted, he's just like, yeah, that's fun. Like, he has no responses. Yeah, so then when yeah. she asks him, he can't think on the spot and come up with an appropriate answer. He's he's just like, I have to admit I did. And then he's super angry that she asked him. And then uh, he starts to blame her and is like, if you had these beliefs, you owed it to me for this process to tell me earlier and communicate with me. I do think she should have said something like, hey, I... No, not necessarily give him an ultimatum, but should have just said, I take sex very seriously when I am with a man and when, or with dating and I just don't give it up to anybody and I expect that in return. Like, you don't have to give him an ultimatum. Just say your sexual beliefs because you are dating in a, in a, in like a short frame, time frame. And so these things need to be projected yeah so i think she should that they don't need to be yeah they should no knowing, knowing no. that they're on the bachelor and knowing that the fantasy suites are coming up you should have that conversation with that person because especially if you're the one that's more so obviously she doesn't because she's scared she'll get sent home if she does but my opinion is you if you bring that up it's like asking for an apology and getting an apology so if you tell him that's your thing and he can't do that and then he doesn't do it, it doesn't mean as much as if he actually doesn't do it without you telling him, like a test. So she's testing him. No, but I just think if you warn, yeah, kind of, I guess kind of she was and he failed the test. Well. So like, it's like if you're, if I'm upset with you and I'm like, you better apologize and then you say sorry, it doesn't mean as much. Right. Well, anyways. But anyway, so they have this argument and then all of a sudden, Clayton starts to turn it on her and blame her and be like, because you didn't tell me before and you didn't communicate and now you're having this double standard. You have de in invalidated our entire relationship before and he starts yelling at her and uh, then he sends her home and won't even like talk and is like, I'm done with you. You're out of my life. But I don't. He, but he did ask her to stay and talk. And she was saying no. So before that, he was doing everything he could, begging her to go to the fantasy suite. He's right. like, don't you think this would be better if we talked it over the next seven hours? I love you the most. Yeah. That You're was, my choice. He shouldn't have said that. Yeah, because yeah. now the other two girls are going to be like, so, because they're going to see it yeah. if he chooses them, because yeah. they're the only two left. Right. 
Anyways. So what do you think of the argument? Um, definitely heated. Who do you, you at the time when we watched it? You said you think he was right. I think he was right. I don't. Be, I don't think he was right with the fact of how he blew up on her. Like he really belittled her and really got angry. But I do think like he had the right. Like I, I am the bachelor. I could have slept with whoever because I'm the bachelor. That's basically what he was saying. Yeah. So and he's right. Right. Why do I have to be tested with our relationship? Like neither of us have said we love you to each other and this is what it is this is fantasy suites like don't test me like that because that's actually a turn off afterwards yeah i don't think she ever should have brought it up i yeah. think it is a big turn off she brought it up i'd be super unimpressed and insulted if i was clayton also that she brought it up i would not be happy with it but reality steve is going to break it down for you and tell you what just happened here so clayton's playing by the bachelor game He's thinking Susie should honor the fact that there's fantasy suites and he's mm-hmm. allowed to do this. Mm-hmm. And Susie's going by real world life where I don't date guys who date three girls at the same time. Mm-hmm. So they have this conflict of interest here. Right. And every season there are girls or guys who are like that, who are right. like like Michael, the guy with the kids oh, on yeah. the last season. And mm-hmm. he's, he people bow out. That's why people bow out because they can't handle someone dating multiple people. Right. Right. So thanks. So then let's fast forward. We go to the finals and there's the preview of the two girls, but there's a knock on the door and there's a big internet rumor that Susie comes back. Mm. And we don't know what happens. Like, is it just to talk and be friends? Is she begging for another chance? Because she's actually his choice. Does he beg the producers to, hey, I screwed up here. Bring her back. I want to talk to her. Yeah, I hope he acknowledges the fact that he did screw up. I did read an article saying that he did handle it inappropriately. I just hope that he realized it after the fact, like right there while in Iceland. So hopefully they'll call her back and he could apologize because I think that would be a redeeming. But then we also have the other information in the woman's tell all where uh, Teddy bear said, she's apparently dating Clayton's brother now who started DMing her on Instagram. And then she says, I just hope you're okay, Clayton. Yeah, that was, so, like, that kind of seems like he doesn't come out with any girl. Yeah. I guess we'll find out on yeah. Monday. What do you guys think? So what, was Clayton in the right or wrong? So, my prediction, as always, was oh. he was going to end up with no girl. I said that before. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I said few... Did you say it on BSTV? Absolutely. Look back. I said that I think... I think... I said I think girls are going to turn Clayton down at the end. And he's going to end up with no one. Guys, I don't remember him saying this, so let's go back and watch these episodes and yeah. see if Steve. So, is what's your right. prediction? I don't think he's going to end up with anybody. Yeah, like I thought it was obvious. Like after the first few episodes of the season, I didn't think he made any connections with anyone. I didn't think any girl. I, I thought Shanae would have been his ultimate choice. They both would have just went and played the fake relationship up on TV, became millionaires, toured the world, pretending they're happy, but they're both doing their own thing. She's playing the game, and he's kind of playing a game, too, and just kind of hoping he stumbles into love. Mm -hmm. So this is BSTV. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.